Yeah, I can uh, now um, living in LA, Los Angeles, Southern California. Yeah, then uh, last week I went to Chicago. There is a seminar there in Northwest University. Yeah, then it's very cool wing day here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, it's really warm in the No, it's it's fine. It's beautiful. How long are you gonna be here for? Uh, only um, departure uh, April 12th. Okay, sure. Yeah, oh, still have uh, three three oh, days. So you can yeah. go around, see the museums. And I have. Yeah, my friends uh, draw me to the Metropolitan Museum already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, oh. one, two. So you're being able to know the, get to know around the city a little bit. I need a bit. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So glad you're with us. So glad. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to chapel today. I am so excited to see y'all here, and I am even more excited to um, introduce my new friend. <laughs> I'm gonna call him my new friend and you know, put that in the universe and <laughs> so that he can become my friend. I saw James Hetchy's art years ago. It's uh, something that I see often in Episcopal spaces. And I just remember being in awe of that. When I started at Union, I don't know if you remember, but we contacted you and then we became friends on Facebook a few years ago. And I just couldn't believe it that, you know, he accepted my friend request, that he actually wrote back. I was like, oh my God, it's him. It's amazing. And, you know, our conversations, I mean, you're so humble. It's... I don't know about y'all, but I'm usually inspired by that when somebody who is amazing and incredible and world known and uh, is so humble and so like um, excited about everything. So I really love seeing you yesterday, you know, when you were in front of the, the cathedral and just everything, he was telling me this is this kind of art, this is that kind of art. And, um, and then we were stuck with hundreds of our best friends looking at the, what's it called, the eclipse yesterday when we were walking through Columbia University. Um, he's a professor, he's uh, been all over the world. The only, I think, you know, questionable thing he shared with me yesterday was that he only speaks two languages, Mandarin and English. I said, Mandarin, come on. <laughs> that means, you know, <laughs> Mandarin counts for 
my goodness, it's one of the most difficult languages. So I'm just so honored, so excited, so that y'all can see. If you haven't, you know, looked around, uh, the, the tags will be on them by tomorrow. Uh, please do come tomorrow night uh, from 6 to 8. He will do a, a talk and also, you know, talk more about his art. But I am um, challenging you. These are all Bible-based. So see if you can uh, tell. They're, they're very, to me, they're very incredible because not only do we see the Bible depiction, but we also see his um, life depicted in this art. So, um Without further ado, James Hetchy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, my, I, I, I actually, I'm living in Los Angeles right now, but my, this time for my visit, uh, first stop in Chicago. There is a seminary located in Northwest University. But here, in Northwest University in Chicago, you can imagine last week how windy walking down the street to see the art museum, all oh, the windy. But here, oh, thank you. You arranged very good weather for me coming here in a new New York City. Yeah, this area is reminding me because uh, 24 years ago, uh, my first time came to the United States. I was invited by Asian. Christian Higher Education. The, the headquarters office, uh, I remember the number 475, the building nearby Riverside Church. I'm just taking a walk around. It's a union, there's a seminary. I was, at that time, I was uh, Lanjing Union, the logic seminary. Then later I know the both uh, seminary, union seminary had a relationship. Yeah. So, uh, I'm now I'm retired from Nanjing Union, but uh, <laughs> I did bring my, my son to study uh, uh, American education in the United States. Yeah, we are living in uh, Los Angeles. So thank you, Sandra, the, the dean, the chapter dean, arranged my visit, display my artworks. Yeah, I know oh, yesterday you did bring here. The, I, I know the artist. Yeah, <laughs> such big honor. For sharing, uh, all my, my friends sharing my artworks here. So today I would like to share, to talk about something about my journey. How I become a Christian artist, just for doing my Christian art creation. Yeah, step by step. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh. Uh, I will tell you my life story. Yeah, my, uh, I was born in an artist family. My father, he was a famous mathematician, a professor teaching at Nanjing University, uh, the capital university, because uh, Nanjing was the uh, former capital of China. Lan means south, southern capital of China. During World War II, Japanese army conquered the capital city, Nanjing. So you know the history. Then since 1949, the Communist Party conquered the whole country of China. They hit to use the old capital, Nanjing. They moved to Beijing. Bei means northern, north. The northern Jing means capital. From Nanjing to Beijing. It's yeah, ah. so you can walk around, <laughs> just so that then everybody can hear you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but so, so uh, the capital was moved to Beijing, northern capital, yeah, until today. So you know this history. So Nanjing University was the capital university. Uh, it's very, very famous. My, my, my father studied there, graduated there, then to become a, a professor teaching uh, mathematics. And he had five kids. I was the third of his five kids. And he had a dream. And maybe the little boy, very clever, 
among the five kids, maybe only me could continue to keep his job to become next famous mathematician. Yeah, his dream. But cultural revolution happened, you know, over 12 years. Yeah, the, he lost his dream because even his university was closed. As a professor, he was sent to the factory to do very hard labor work there. And I, I still remember uh, one day I did some uh, playground with some other kids to play outside. Yeah, I met a, a labor a professor, a dean of Nanjing Normal University Fine Art Department. He said, very famous artist, a fine art educator. When he was young, he studied art in Paris, in France. Yeah, he, oh, gee, please come follow me. Then I follow him, because uh, we, we, we are labor, just another, not another building uh, near close by. Then I went to his private home. He showed me some of his paintings, very colorful. Do you like it? Yes, I do. Now, gee, the time is not okay for you to study mathematics. Follow your father now. Just follow me to study art. You are very clever. Yeah, if you follow me, I think in the future you will become a famous artist. <laughs> my, my neighbor. Yeah, I, I like your artworks. Yeah, I, think I, I, I learned from my neighbor. Very friendly and uh, uh, how to use... Uh, Pencil, uh, drawing, how to use a uh, brush to do oil painting. Then I was sent to the countryside. You, you know, as a teenage boy in uh, high school, students they were sent to the countryside to do very hard farmer work. So you can Im imagine, ah, uh, as a teenage boy, I was very not too tall like today. Yeah, very, uh, I cannot do farmer work as a teenage boy. What things I can do to let me avoid such very hard farmer work as a teenage boy. But if I can do painting, to paint great little Chen Mao, I will be lucky. At that time, you know, in China, everywhere, every corner, you know, in the common place, they will <laughs> build the altarpiece to ask someone to paint great, to paint great Chen Mao's images, to let people worship him. But even in the poor, uh, uh, the farmer or <laughs> the place, the people's uh, commune, uh, the countryside, they also need. So there was a big competition. A lot of uh, young students like me, they want to get this job. But I was a final winner because I got very good <laughs> art education from the number, almost number one fine art professor, educator, Dean of Nanjing Normal University. Yeah, so I was the final winner. Yeah, so you can see, oh, thank you. Yeah, at that time, you can, you can imagine. Yeah, continue. Yeah, so, so the, you can continue to see some pictures at that time, yeah. Yeah, no, we call the, uh, yeah, next picture. Yeah, criticize people. Yeah, continue. Yeah, you see the, uh, the Buddhism temple. Yeah, we call cultural revolution actually just destroyed every culture, just destroyed. They went to the uh, Buddhist temple. Yeah, the bond, the sculpture, uh, my, 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 my hometown, Nanjing. Uh, was a famous uh, uh, a Buddhist temple over 1600 years. You know, just one day, <laughs> the red, yeah, the, the, the red, red guards coming, they destroyed, they cut all the statues, hit, disappeared. Uh, this is uh, uh, at that time, yeah, everywhere in China, even every corner, people just fighting against, criticize, criticize, oh, follow great need to change my mouth. 
Uh, that's terrible. I will tell you my, my personal story. My, my, my mother, she was a history teacher teaching in the uh, middle school. Uh, during the Cultural Revolution, her school was closed. But every day afternoon, she had to join a political study. But one day, almost 6 p.m., the, this very boring study still keep going on, but my mother wanted back home early for cooking for her five kids. But the director leading the political study refused my mother went back home early. No, 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 no. Uh, Lee Chen Mao, his new speech just coming. We need to continue to study his new speech. But my mother just took her political study materials, Chen Mao's book, newspaper, but there was a neater red book, just a small size red book, falling down the floor. The director said, how dare you are? This small book written by great leader Chen Mao. So you throw out Chen Mao's book. Because of this reason, my mother became counter-revolution. So we, we still need to uh, remember so every day morning by around 6 a.m., my mother, she had to fold down her leads in the public place. There is a Chen Mao's party there, statue there, folding down her leads, and then she said, Granite Chen Mao, what I did totally wrong. Please forgive me. 7 or 6 p.m., repeat again. Whole months, my mother got mental problem. So in, in 1990s, 98, yeah, my mother got very hard disease. Yeah, we sent, yeah, we would talk with my uh, brother and sisters to move my mother to a local hospital, but the local hospital the doctor refused. No, 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 we cannot take your mother. Your mother had mental problems. She will make it all easy for other patients. But we had a friendship, the labor hospital for mental problems. You can move your mother to that hospital. So we moved my mother to that neighbor hospital. But at that hospital, the doctor still re refused. No, 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 we cannot take your mother. Your mother had a very dangerous heart disease. We only take care of mental problem. No way. Back home. Only one week, my mother passed away. So even the Cultural Revolution gone, being finished, still many tragedies linked with ordinary Chinese people. That's terrible. So, so uh, for me, we, as a Chinese citizen, we had too much struggle spirit. Criticize everything. We lack peaceful message. Where I could find peaceful message? So, continue. Yeah, I follow Granny Channel. I was in the countryside. Yeah, continue. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's uh, in the daytime, I paint granite chamomile in order to get some oil painting material. And I, as I mentioned, I did borrow some my uh, neighbor's professor, uh, Lu Sibai, his some art magazine back to the field. So one magazine, it's very touched my heart, by Rafael's Madonna. Yeah, Ma Madonna holding baby Jesus, very smiling, peacefully. So in the daytime, I paint Granite Chamomile. Back home, continue, I paint Madonna. A sketch and oil painting, sharing with my friends. Yeah, this collected by my younger sister. Yeah, so she still collects this one. Yeah, you can see. Uh, 
very peacefully. Madonna holding baby Jesus peacefully. Miss we really very touched my heart at that time. Yeah. Then uh, uh, at the, in, 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 in the daytime, I still paint green in the <laughs> In the midnight, back home, my private in the countryside, I paint Madonna. Yeah, one day, my classmates, one of my classmates coming to visit me because there are so many the young students working outside the city uh, in the countryside rural area, but they, quite often they visit each other. So my friend coming, he told me, Chi, yeah, back, back to Madonna. Yeah, you know, this is Christian image. Mary, Mad Madonna holding baby Jesus. He continued to tell me he, he was born, he came from a Christian family. But I, I said, you're in a class, classroom, a class, we are classmates, you never told me before. He said, my, ma, my, my parents asked me, don't mention you're from a Christian family. You know, in China, uh, since 1950s, since Korean War to Vietnam War, yeah, if the students came from the Christian family, very dangerous. You must say, oh, your family, your parents, your grandparents, maybe they had some link with American Impressionism missionaries. They were be very dangerous position, so secret, cannot tell anybody. Yeah, but in the rural area, we, we always say the emperor is far away, so <laughs> just sharing. And I still remember we were standing outside the, the, the poor horse, uh, face to the fears, like Vincent starry, starry night. Yeah, he's singing a beautiful song, Santa Maria, very touch my heart. And in next uh, spring, Chinese New Year, I went back to Nanjing. Yeah, we had a tradition. Uh, Chinese New Year, family members should be gathering for, uh, yeah, for Chinese New Year. Yeah, and I went to, I, I know uh, there was a capital, former capital church, St. Paul Church. I went there. I want to see the church. Yeah. But I was standing outside the church, look at what inside, all the machines. Looks like a factory. Yeah, so after a few years, uh, in 1980s, for Chinese church reopened, yeah, I came to the church. I met the pastor. I, I told him I came here before but it looks like a factory and lots of machines. The pastor said, yeah, we are lucky. Yeah, because our place could be used as a factory, so not be destroyed. <laughs> so some places, churches, they were destroyed. Yeah, you see some uh, pictures? Uh, that's a real situation. So for me, the, as an artist, I just want to share a peaceful message. Yeah, we keep going. So you can see baby Jesus holding apple. Looks something, something linked with Raphael's Madonna. You can see holding baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah this uh, holding baby Jesus uh, uh, you know, in 1990s, I got scholarship to study medieval art in Germany, in Hamburg Art Institute, follow my famous German professor. He was uh, uh, dean of Fan Art Museum, Hamburg, and also a professor teaching in a seminar, uh, in, not seminary, in Art Institute. Yeah, so uh, every, each week I went to his office in the museum, uh, his office twice. Then we are discussing about uh, manuscript, medieval, no monastery, altarpiece, 
then she followed me, then went back to the museum, the altarpiece. So the baby Jesus always holding an apple, not eating, not like the apple company. <laughs> yeah, you say not eating because it, Jesus was born, he wanted to redeem people in the world. Our ordinary people, we had original sin. So you know the uh, painting, the losing paradise, the apple, eating a part of missing, you see? Yeah. But no, 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 no any people here from uh, working for the apple company, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So I got very strong influence as a uh, continue. Yeah. Now, Jesus, he was born. He wanted to redeem people living in the world. Now, this is uh, uh, in Beijing, Emperor's Palace. The door open. I put the Chinese character, happiness. But upside down, upside down means in China, Chinese words coming. So we open Chinese door, welcome Christian message coming to China. Yeah, this is my painting, my, yeah, next. Yeah, Jesus locking the door. He want, he want to share peaceful message with people. Yeah, continue. Yeah, I, I know, as an artist, I always wanted to share his personal yeah, suffering, depression. But I think we, we have too much suffering. I don't want to share my personal suffering through my artworks. Yeah, we want, as a Christian artist, I just want to try my best to share peaceful message. Well, while people living in the world, we really need for sharing peaceful message in uh, each Sunday morning worship, people shaking hands, peace be with you. I think sharing peaceful message is the most important gospel message. Sharing peaceful, Jesus carrying cross, yeah, for redeem people, sharing peace is most important. So the, uh, the first one, um, I don't know, the coming uh, stone. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, not, 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 not display here, but the first one, the screen, Jesus coming stone. Uh, when the COVID coming, 2020, April, during Easter, so New York Times in particularly introducing this, my painting, Jesus coming stone. At that time, the COVID is just coming. We, we don't know what will be happened in the future, but we need peaceful message, sharing peace. So this is a very, very important for me as an artist. I don't want to just follow a uh, monk. This is a, you know, in, in Norwegian artist, expression style, for they are living in the very low zone. Yeah, in the winter time, the daytime, all dark. Yeah, so the suffering, uh, solitary, very suffering. So that's a monk. Yeah, this one, yeah, Th this one. So New York Times introducing, yeah, we need sharing peaceful message. We are living in the world, so you can see, yeah, not peaceful. Yeah, in New York, we, everybody knows September 11th since very sad suffering. We need peaceful message. It's very, very important. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, this uh, New York Times introducing, at the time, we really need peaceful message, the COVID. Yeah, continue. Yeah, I, I got some, yeah, this is another. <laughs> Sandra, you are really appreciate. This is what I call my Titanic. Yeah, this is my Titan. Yeah, but uh, uh, you can see the danger in the iceberg behind of the boat. The real Titanic is in front of the boat, so dangerous things will be happening. Now, peacefully, 
Now it's a peacefully. We are sharing. My Titanic is much peaceful. <laughs> Comparison with real Titanic. No. Yeah, so the, in German, the, in Aachen, they're using my painting uh, for a year calendar. They choose 12 of my paintings as a monthly they are planning a calendar. That's in China. So you have a uh, student from Germany? <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, Germany always in my sight, you know. Oh, so this is my Titanic. They're using as a cover page. Yeah. Okay. So sharing peaceful message. I, I, I went to Assisi in Italy, to St. Francis, a working place. So really, yeah, this, this painting also introduced by National Ge Geography Channel. Uh, they make a, a, a TV uh, movie, Killing Jesus, the using, uh, introducing my painting, pr prayer. Now you can continue to see. The upper room using my painting, this painting as a cover, continue. So I went to RCC, St. Francis, prayer. You, so you know, not make me an instrument of your peace. It's very, very important. As an artist, Christian artist, I just want to be an instrument of your peace for sharing peaceful messages through my own art. We are living world or people really need sharing peaceful message. Yeah, so I just try. So keep going, yeah. Later, I will tell you, I need a bit of change. I, 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 uh, the last uh, a week before Go Good Friday this year, I finished my my painting. My first, I, I, I made some uh, prints when I sent to you to to our seminary here, Union Seminary, for sharing. Yeah, so I a little bit change because I read a famous German theologian, Chip Grace, you know. You heard this uh, during World War II? Yeah, the cost of a discipleship, Chip Grace. Just not, oh, every, it's okay, peace everywhere, it's peace, oh, we're just sharing. Not okay. Yeah, so you can continue to see. So I sketched, I did a sketch of this painting. Jesus, yeah, crucifixion, cross is most important. Now, continue. Now I will say, uh, yeah, continue. I'm doing my, 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 New, new painting, if you, yeah, maybe next you can see, yeah, you can see Jesus' blood watering the next. Yeah, you can see Jesus' blood watering the green grass, green color is the color of resurrection. I spent 10 more years living in Minnesota. Yes, oh, oh, it's a long winter, slow, cover the ground half a year. So after the gone, we see the warmer, getting warmer than the green grass. Resurrection, the whole year, resurrection now. Yeah. Watering, uh, yeah, the green grass, resurrection. Very, very important. So. It's my, my painting. Yeah, the, also I sent to uh, Minnesota, there is a Lutheran church, um, very friendly with me. Yeah, they, they framed, two, they, they, they took two days, did a frame just before Good Friday, then put into the church. Yeah, continue. And the pastor, Mac Carson, he did a sermon. Yeah, continue. Yeah, there, for sharing, particularly focus on my new painting. 
on the Good Friday evening. Yeah, also uh, in invite orchestra singing Bach, the famous. Yeah, wow. So this is uh, uh, brand new right now, my journey for doing Christian art step by step. So uh, I, tomorrow evening, I, I can tear some of my art style, the medium, the art style. Yeah. So today, I think <laughs> it, it, it's oh, over <laughs> time now. <laughs> It's okay. So, what do you think of uh, some question or just finished? Thank you so much. Um, James will be here um, for some minutes if you'd like to ask him about his art, but thank you so much for coming. I'm very, very inspired by your story, and I can't wait to hear more tomorrow. So may your days be blessed uh, as you go around. I'm sure you can meditate on all of this beautiful art. Thank you.